Hello everyone, my name is Andres. Uh, today we're gonna be talking actually about a lot of things. But yeah, but this time I decided to mix it up and rather than seeing my beautiful, beautiful face all the time, I decided to uh, play some game in the background so it, it was more interesting to watch. So yeah, this time it's Terraria, I've been playing somewhere about a week. Um, <clears throat> it's an interesting game, but I don't really know how I feel about it. Oh yes, and by the way, this isn't my house, it's just the spawn location I made near the dungeon, so I would have to run all the time when I die. So yeah, um, I guess the obvious comparison when it comes to Terraria is Minecraft, and sure, they both are the games that kind of are these building block style games and you craft tools and make houses and such. But Terraria is 2D rather than 3D as Minecraft is. So uh it so yeah, you know, it ha it hasn't the um, the kind of the potential that Minecraft has when it comes to building but at least have some more crafting. Well you can craft a lot more stuff tools and weapons than Minecraft, but still, I kind of find that spots tedious, um, and I guess it would be more fun if you played with someone else, but I played alone. Oh, and by the way, here's a pro tip when you start again. If you're playing alone, don't make a large map. Make a medium-sized map. I make the the mistake of making a large map. My fucking god, sometimes it takes forever to get to needed points. Like, I should have just made the medium map. Yeah. Oh shit. Um, but yeah. Still, it's kind of fun. But I. But I tend to listen to podcasts a lot when. When I'm playing Terraria, because uh, ooh, fraps and the water gun aren't so good. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, it takes a, dip, a frame rate dip. Okay, let's continue. So yeah, um, I tend to listen to a lot of podcasts in the background just to keep me entertained while I mine the elevators, stuff, things like that. Die, asshole! Die! Oh, this is a nice weapon. Oh, I've been here. I think. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. Yes, I definitely have been here. Fuck you, buddy. See you later. Um, but yeah, uh, what I wanted to talk actually, not how I enjoy or don't bear kind of enjoy Terraria, but actually Skyrim. Um, Skyrim is will come out let's see somewhere in about half a month I think yes. And I'm really excited for Skyrim. I really am. I I enjoyed Oblivion, I sunk Oh god, I don't know. Potion, potion, I need a potion. I think somewhere about a hundred hours into that game. I played uh, Knights of the Nine, uh, Shimon Isles, so yeah, and also played Best of the Fallout games, I enjoyed those. Kind of tried to finish Morrowind, uh, got bored somewhere halfway through because I played it after Oblivion. Oh my man, I played it after Oblivion. Uh, and uh, Fallout games, so it kind of the older RPG. Couldn't keep me entertained as the newer did, but still, I could recognize it as a good game and I died! Fuck! Mm, but yeah, um, the reason why I actually want to talk about Skyrim is because uh, uh, there's kind of been information going out for the past few weeks about how the RPG system will work. And they're making some quite changes to it. So basically, um, 
the fundamental is still there. You level up what you do. So if you like to swing a lot of swords, you will increase that mastery. But now, like there's no. Uh, but now, when you, for example, when you create a character, uh, you just create the visual side of stuff. You don't choose a class or. Uh, choose the abilities you will uh, be special specified. Uh, uh, Skyrim will be a classless RPG, meaning uh, that you don't choose a predefined class like a mage or a warrior or something like that. Uh, which actually makes sense when you think about it, because I don't know how you, but when I played Oblivion, I ended up making a custom class. That also was the case with Morrowind and in Fallout, as you remember, there were classes. There were no classes whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, so making it classless makes sense. Also, uh, remember how Oblivion and Morrowind had like things like strength, endurance, speed, like these kind of attributes. Well, they're still there, but. Rather than eight, they're now three: strength, magicka, and agility, which makes sense actually because a lot of those eight kind of serve the common goal of intelligence and willpower, like both for magic. So why not just label it magic, like being labeled right now? I don't remember what I dropped my gold. That's a bummer. Oh, okay. No, no. Oh sh. Right into the spikes. How smart of me. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah. Mm, uh, so, again, back to Skyrim. So, yeah. But also, they did. Why did I make you? Why? Maximum mana. What can I ditch? What can I ditch? Oh, I can't need to hit all of it. Die, that's all die. Oh, uh, okay, I guess I'll leave it there. So, yeah. Sorry, back to Skyrim. Uh, so yeah, uh, they also changed the attribute system. So like, uh, they reduced the amount of the attributes. They removed the redundant ones and kind of merged some that more made more sense. Like, uh, uh, like the one that gave you like, discounts on the store is now all combined with. Uh, Uh, with with speed, which makes sense. Uh, there's no blunt weapons and uh, blades. Now there are just one-handed weapons and two-handed weapons, uh, which which is a more which makes more sense when you divide those two in that way. Um, acrobatics and athletics have been removed, which I think should be have been should have been done a long time ago because. Really, who chose those as their primary skills? I hope no one. Um, so yeah, uh, mysticism I think has been removed from the game whatsoever, and the spells in that category have been added to uh, uh, to other schools of spells. Uh, so yeah. And also, the perk system has been changed. Like, remember in Oblivion, when you leveled up, when you reached a certain rank, and for say, in heavy armor, you got a perk. Like, what do you uh, now, you get you get perks as you level up, similar like in Fallout. But now, um, and you choose, but rather than in Fallout, you just choose a perk, you choose a school from which to pick a point. So you put. So you put a point in for say uh, heavy armor, and you get the first perk in that. Then if you put another point in that, you get the second perk, and stuff like that. <coughs> so yeah. Um, uh, also, uh, 
repairing has been removed from the game, weapons are now won't break. Uh, that skill has been changed to crafting and enchanting. Um, which actually makes sense because, uh, like, I remember in Oblivion, like, uh, the only reason why I chose uh, repairing as one of my primary skills is just to repair weapons. Uh, and armor. Um, and that's especially crucial in the first Oblivion game that you entered in the game because, my fucking god, it was hard. Well, in a sense, it was hard in the sense that since you were an experience in using all your weapons and armor, they broke really fast. They were kind of crappy ones, the first, the first tier ones. So they, oh, my god, getting beaten up here. Die, assholes, die! Uh, yeah, uh, so... Now that that frustrating part of the game is removed, like, the whole repairing system has no real point in it. And I think that, that that's a nice change. I probably have looted it. Yes, I have. So, what else happening with Skyrim? Oh, um, they improved Radiant AI. They are not making the promise that they did with Oblivion, which is kind of smart. Uh, but they said that they uh, kind of made some changes to how the world now works. For so, the example they gave gave uh, basic our our. Oh yes. The example they gave to press is basically for imagine if you so uh, you could go into a city and there would be a lumberjack and he kind of so he produces what do I have mad Oh motherfucker by a water spear. Fuck it. So yeah. Um, <coughs> so for example, you can visit the say that there's a lumberjack, and he kind of collects, like, goes to the forest, like chops down trees and such. And that's part of the economy. That's the city. So if you were, for example, kill him or kind of destroy the nearby forest or stuff, it would break the economy in a way. For uh, that city, for example, like uh, things like arrows, well, items that are made for wood would be harder to find in that area because of the deficit of the wood, and th that also would impact the other stuff. Like that's if they will, if they will bring good to that promise, it sounds very compelling. It sounds actually like a good idea addition to the game, which I would like. Uh, um, but yeah, I think that's about it, what I want to talk about Skyrim. Uh, eight, eight races, as always. Yeah, that's all about Skyrim.